Hello everyone. Uh, I am Dr. Prashant Kumar. I am working as Associate Professor in Department of Community Medicine in ESIC Medical College, Kalaburgi, Gulbarga, Karnataka. Uh, before starting the topic, I would like to thank IAPSM and Team eConnect of IAPSM for providing me this opportunity. So basically, I'll be I'll be uh, taking the topic of uh, primary healthcare in India. Primary healthcare in India is a little big topic, so I'll be dividing this into two parts and. So to let us begin with the topic. So primary health care, I will be, I'll be taking the topic size. What is primary health care? Delivery of health system in India. History of how primary health care started. Definition, elements of primary health care. So what is, what is basically, what is primary health care? Primary health care. Primary health care is the health care that is available to all people at the first level of health care. Right. It is the, at the first level, whatever healthcare is available to the people that is called as primary healthcare. It is the approach that integrates at the community level with all the factors required for improving health status of the population. So it integrates at the community level to improve the health, health of the population. So WHO states it as a basic healthcare and is whole of a society approach. That is, everyone is involved in what it is involved to the healthy well-being of the community. So delivery of the health system in India, if you see, they are basically divided into three, primary care level, secondary care level, and tertiary care level. So what is primary care level? Primary care level is the first level of contact of individuals and community with the health system. First level of contact of the individual. It is close to the people where most of the health problems can be dealt with or resolved. So, in Indian construct, the primary health care is provided by the primary health centers and sub-centers. These together are now called as, or these are all, these are now referred as health and wellness centers. Now, in this, the primary health care is mainly provided through ASHA workers, multi-purpose workers, village health guides, and trained diet. So, besides providing primary health care, health care, the Team, the village health teams bridge the cultural and communication gap between the rural people and the organization. They, they form kind of a bridge because they are from the community. They will they'll form a bridge between the village and the organized health sector. So since India has adopted for health for all by 2080, the primary health care system has been, has been recognized and strengthened to make the primary health care delivery more effective. What is secondary health care or secondary care level? This here, the next, it is the next level where little more complex or little more complex uh, uh, health, uh, health issues are dealt, more problems are dealt with. So this kind of, in India, this kind of care is usually provided by the district hospitals and community health centers which serve as the, also serve as the first reference because they go to the primary health center from primary health center they are usually referred to the higher level, that is the first is the, either the community health centers or the district hospital. Then comes the tertiary care hospital. It is more specialized than the secondary level, where highly specialized health workers are there. This is usually, this care is usually provided by medical colleges or apex hospitals like AIMS institutions and all, like Jayadeva, AIMS and all. So how this primary health care has started in India? If before 1978, there existed health systems in, in India that it doesn't mean that there doesn't didn't exist health systems in India, but they, they failed to provide something called as quality health care in spite of the existing. So what WHO and UNICEF did is they called all the members of all the members in a place at Alma Atta in 1978, and that is commonly known as Alma Atta Conference. This conference was attended by 134 countries and other different agencies. So in Alba, at, 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 all came into the conclusion that yes, we should attain health for all by 2000 AD. But how to attain this primary health care was the only way to achieve health for all by 2000 AD. So in this way, the concept of primary health care came into existence globally in 1978 from the Alma Alla, 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 Atta Act. So health for all, what does actually health for all mean? But before what is health for all means, you should be knowing what does not mean, what health for all does not mean. It does not mean that there will be no diseases or no person will die after 2000. It doesn't mean that everyone will enjoy a positive health. No, it doesn't mean that. 
health services of a specialist to be available to all? No. There will be no need for the disease control or eradication programs like how we have national health programs. No. There will be no requirement of health professionals like doctors and nursing staff. No, it doesn't mean all this. No, it doesn't mean. But what it actually means is the health, there will be even distribution of basic health services to all. Again, it is the even distribution of basic health services to all. It will be available within the reach of everyone. So everyone can avail the services. It will be acceptable by all. And people will, hence, people will be able to lead a socially and economically productive life. Changing concepts like how the primary health care can enter uh, primary health care has evolved in India. First, it started with the, something called as comprehensive health care. Comprehensive health care was the term comprehensive health care was first used by uh, Sir Joseph Bohr uh, by in his Joseph Committee by 1946. He stated that by providing comprehensive services, what is comp by providing comprehensive services right from birth to death, the people can be healthy. That is. Comprehensive health care services include preventive, curative, and promotional health services from womb to tomb, that is from birth to death, to every individual residing in the defined geographical area. But this failed. This failed because the health centers were not able to provide health services beyond the area of two to five kilometers radius of that health center, whichever it was radius. And you and most of the most of the health centers either were poorly staffed. They did not have the enough medicines or required medicines and the equipment to diagnose or treat the patient. Hence, it resulted in dissatisfaction among the people and the delivery of the health services and this was a flop show. Then came the basic health services. Basic health services basically is network of health units for to provide a group of functions. What group of functions? For the health of an area. By who? By competent professionals and auxiliary nurses. Now, generally, that's personal. It is basically providing basic health services to the doorstep of the people. But again, this failed because there was lack of community participation, lack of intersectoral coordination, and dissociation from the socio-economic aspects of the health. So this all led to this. This only this was almost the name of the comprehensive care. Only the name was changed from comprehensive basic health care services to the basic health service, the comprehensive health care to the basic health care services. Then came the primary health care. Primary health care is essential health care made universally accessible to individuals and acceptable to, the, to them through their full participation and at a cost the community and country can afford. Here every word is important. It is an essential health care. It is an essential, it is the must for the people and it should be ac accessible. It should be accessible and acceptable to them through their full participation. That is, there should be community participation at a cost community and country can afford. Right. So this, this, this is so these are the very important words: essential, accessible, acceptable, through community participation and at a cost. That is, the country and con community and country can afford. So coming to the elements of the primary health care, they are, they are so easy to remember. I have na to name the elements into uh, like I put uh, E L E M E N T S so that is easy, it is easy to remember. Basically, elements of primary health care are what are the areas it covers and how it covers or how it what are the areas that it covers. So E stands for education about prevailing health problems and methods to methods of preventing and controlling them. So what are the prevailing health problems in that city or over all over this and how to prevent and control them. L stands for locally endemic diseases, the diseases that are present in that area, how to prevent and control them, provision of essential drugs. There is a list called as essential drug list, which is, which is prepared by the government of India. It is the drug uh, which, which, which covers which covers maximum number of the endemic diseases in India. So that is prepared by India and the drugs will be provided to each health center, every each health center free of cost. Then maternal child health care, including family planning. Whenever it is maternal child health care, yes, family planning comes and it is very important. Maternal maternal health care includes everything right from antenatal diagnosis or by confirming the pregnancy, antenatal care, internatal care, postnatal care and health care of the child. Then expanded immunization against major infectious disease, vaccination, a very important uh, aspect of the primary health care. Then promotion of food supply and proper nutrition. Why nutrition is important, especially for the vulnerable groups and what is proper food and all promotion of the food supply. 
then appropriate treatment of the common disease and injuries to getting treated, then adequate supply of safe water and basic sanitation. What is safe water and how to keep up with the sanitation? That aspect, dealing with that aspect is one of the very important say, function of the primary health care which will be dealt with. So these are my references. I again, once again, thank you everyone for listening to this. Thank you.